Hello everyone, my name's Niall. This video is going to discuss politics in video games and Life is Strange, and why they have so much importance and potential. And to be clear, by politics I mean tackling controversial issues in society. As Brody said, Everything is political. No matter what kind of story is portrayed by a game, or media in general, it is impossible to avoid politics in some form. Political and controversial issues in society all rely on people having opinions. It's only by addressing these topics and coming to our own, educated opinions, that society can move forward. So yes, politics definitely belong in video games. Video games are a form of media that are only getting more and more popular, and so much more immersive and realistic. It's important developers tackle these issues to get them talked about, to bring awareness of these issues to people who may not know about them giving them the basis to form their own opinions. Take Life is Strange 2 for example. They can put you into character shoes and into very intricate situations, which can really emphasise how any certain action or stance can influence someone in the long term. And that kind of links in a bit to the chaos theory of Life is Strange 1. Even small interactions can add up. Take, for example, Sean and Daniel being mistreated by people consistently throughout their lives because of their race. It's added up over time to affect their overall perception of their life in the US. But politics isn't just about race. It can cover so much. Take something that's important to me, mental health awareness. Life is Strange has explored characters with mental health issues in the past. Nathan Prescott being the main, most noticeable character to display these problems. Video games in the future have a great power within them to immerse a player within a world. Maybe they could play as a character with mental health issues to see what life is like from their perspective. Or maybe having another important character in the story who struggles with a disorder and being able to see how it affects them from an outside point of view. Life is Strange games are so good at being a real and relatable experience that they have tremendous power in the politics they address. They can clearly show you how people would be affected by political opinions in the real world and make you think about how this applies to your own real life. By doing this and taking these conversations forward, they'll help solve the issues in society faster. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you again soon.